going to start out with Mars Black, Thalo or Thalo Blue, Titanium White, and then I'm going to use a mop blender brush like this, half inch, just to apply that initial coat. Get some warm tap water on there, be generous with it, and then mix up a dark blue. So pull that Mars Black into your Thalo or Thalo Blue and uh, that's about what you're looking for and that'll be a good start to our night sky here or that dawn sky. And this is, if you're just starting out in a painting, this is a perfect concept and painting to start out with. It teaches you a couple basic things, you get used to using your tools and your brushes and just you can get used to everything and you can still end up with a really good looking painting right off the bat. I mean, you could be fresh into it. You don't need experience and, and a lot of time to make these look good. And you can add so many different color combinations to this, greens and pinks and purples and all kinds of stuff. So you can do cityscapes in the foreground with that dark silhouette. You can add trees, mountains, you know, I have, I have quite a few of these, but um, yeah, this is an 8 by 10 inch canvas, raw, unprepped. We're going to keep everything real simple here. And then we'll get into a little bit of airbrushing here in a second, but you don't need to, you don't need to airbrush this. If you want to blend this out with just brushes, if you, you're not ready to use an airbrush, even though it's very simple and I, I think you should. Uh, take that plunge. Um, if you don't want to, I have a million blending videos. Just go on my channel, click playlists, and there'll be a blending. And it'll show you 25 different blending videos. So once that's on there, just get a, a dry wash brush. And just real gently go over everything. And that'll smooth things out, and then it'll be, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, a lot of people are intimidated of airbrushing for some reason. I don't know why. Um, they're relatively, relatively inexpensive. And they just give you a great blend every single time. And they're so easy to use. As acrylic blending is difficult sometimes. So this just makes it real quick and easy. And if you want to you know, do oil on top of your acrylic to get a good blend in, and you can't go acrylic on top of oil again. So this just makes it easy. But this is acrylic airbrush paint. That's uh, titanium white. And then I ran out of blue. I just wanted to show you this. If you do run out of that acrylic airbrush paint, which is, you'll get the best flow with, you can just use, this is just basic, normal heavy body paint. And you can mix some in the hopper there. But if you're going to use that heavy body paint, you're going to want to add a little bit of water. But we can mix that up. We're going to get a light blue. And then this will be the start of that dawn color on the horizon. But again, you could do so many different colors with this. You could do pinks and purples and greens and all kinds of stuff, so. I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna add a couple stars. And then in the beginning video, there weren't this many stars up there, but and that's one of the good things about art is you can you can add a little bit here and there that you you can't get with normal photos and videos. So I added those couple glows up in the top, and then to add the glow on the horizon, I'm just doing back and forth, semicircular arc type movement there, getting further back as I get higher up 
and that'll feather everything out and smooth everything out. And then as I get closer um, down into the horizon, I get closer with the airbrush. So that paint gets a little brighter and denser. And then again, as you keep moving up and down, up and down, just move closer, further, closer, further, just like I'm doing here. And then you'll get that glow that you're looking for. I'm going to add some more white airbrush paint and a little bit of lemon, a little bit of lemon yellow, just tiniest, tiniest bit. And there was a touch of this, touch of yellow orange there right on the horizon. So we're going to try to replicate that a bit here, but you can see there it's real subtle, real faint. And then just run there at the bottom of that blue glow just add a little bit of that that yellow also then we'll have a really nice glow set in but yeah this is the beauty of that that airbrush is you know if you try to do this with acrylics it's you can get a nice blend and you can still get a good painting but see, I don't think it'll be as realistic in that blend, that glow won't be as smooth. And you, as I said, you can go oils on top of acrylic. So once that background dries, if you wanted to do this with oils, which is a lot easier than acrylics, that's fine. But then you can't really run that horizon line with acrylic again. So you'd have to stay oil, wait for it to dry, Yada yada. So now I'm just taking a liner detail brush, the finest one I had, and dipping it in pure white. And then just putting a tiny little dot of pure white in that light blue glow that we added earlier. And we'll have a couple brighter stars up in the up in the sky there just to make it a more interesting painting. Just try to come straight down in those glow spots, barely touch it. If you come at an angle, you make it ovals and lines and it won't quite it'll throw everything off a little bit. So if you ever just have a tiny perfect circle right dead center, it'll look better. So just try to be steady with that. Then you'll get some good glowing stars and then just add some doing the same thing, add some in random places, some stars that aren't glowing, and it'll just add a little bit of variation in that night sky or that, that dawn sky and make it look a little better.
can add a little cross to here and there if you want to. And some of those brighter stars. And I know those little crosses aren't, it's not a realistic look, but I just, I like it for some reason, so I add those here and there. And now we can start to add the horizon line, which is my favorite part. I love doing this because it really, you can see it come together and it happens so fast and it's, it's simple. So I love this part. So I'm going to use a little angle brush here because you get a broadside. And you can also get a fine, clean point if you need it. So angle brush, square brushes are, are good for this part. Because you want a good, clean line. And just try to, uh, you know, as you drag from left to right, or right to left if you're lefty, I guess, just try to move it around a little bit, up and down, and then you'll get some jagged, mountain-looking type shapes that will give you a, a, a better horizon line, more realistic. And then just you know, block that in. And then we'll get into uh, adding some tree silhouettes. And we'll wrap it up. I'm going to use that same small detail liner brush with just pure Mars Black just to match that uh, foreground and then we'll add some pine trees over on the right just like in the, the video and I do that just by adding horizontal streaks that are wider at the base and then go to a point at the tip just to look like pine trees and then usually it'll have a vertical line you know an up and down line right dead center and then those little crisscrossing lines getting wider at the base will look like the branches and then that'll look like uh, some silhouetted pine trees
I bounce around sometimes just as things catch my eye. Um, but I'm just going to run that run that edge with this liner brush while I have it out and really make sure it's clean. I don't want it to be spotty or any drag marks. I want it to be clean, solid, good amount of paint. You know, if it's dragged out or, or washed out, it won't look good. We want that to really pop and have contrast against that glow. And then that'll give us a good, a good look. And then just get back into the trees. We'll have them get a little bigger, a little taller as they move off to the right. And just take your time with this. back into the sky now with just just titanium white I'll add some more stars tweak a couple things Add some more axes on the, the brighter ones. And then we'll be getting close. I got the angle brush and the Mars black back out. And uh, I'm going to do a second coat now that that foreground has dried. With these, if you add a second coat on that foreground and really make sure that it's a clean, solid black, it really, it really helps. It's, it's definitely worth. worth doing. So that second coat is key.
it's pretty much there now. I'm just going to add a couple little tweaks here and there, add a couple, couple more trees. Here in the foreground, and then I think I mess with the stars a little bit, and that's about it. And I'm going to add a couple last X's in these stars, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Good luck on yours, and see you in the next video.